guys, what's going on and welcome to Pomberito. So today we're spending five nights on a farm in Argentina and I really don't know much else about this game other than that. But if you do enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and welcome to the full gameplay of Pomberito. Monday. Today was a peaceful day. I went to buy fertilizer way past the town. All I did was follow the trail all day long. For tonight, bring in the fertilizer bag I left at the field entrance near the gate, place it next to the other one, look for the shovel, put it in the tool shed, gather sticks, light the fire, Shut off the water supply, windmill. All right, here we are on the farm. Can I have this flashlight? Yes, I can. What was I supposed to do? I, I'm not gonna lie, I just forgot everything I just read. F uh, fire, we're supposed to gather sticks and start a fire. I do remember that. Something about fertilizer too. Is that fertilizer or potatoes? I think that's potatoes. All right, let's, uh, I guess we'll just look around here. I remember Something about fertilizer, something about sticks in a fireplace, and, uh, goodness God almighty, it is dark and a little scary out here. What is up with these trees? They are, they have holes in them. They're porous. Oh my goodness. I found the fertilizer, I think. Yep. Here's the, uh, oh, puppy. What the fuck is that? That's not a puppy. That's a, a little doll. Gill. All right. So I ran by all these porous trees. Also, if you go to the pause menu, you can see everything that you need to do here. Um, fertilizer. Find the bag near the entrance and put it with the other one. All right. I don't really know where the other one is, but it must be next to the house somewhere. It says the sticks are amongst the trees, but I'm afraid... What was that little critter? I I'm afraid that I didn't... Uh see any sticks so oh bang fertilizer done shovel find the shovel and take it to the tool shed all right uh as you can see this is quite the large land that we have here um uh, there's like paths throughout the area and i i guess probably our objectives are maybe down these paths the last path i followed let oh shit. So on the map here, if we go directly behind the house and to the right, there's a, a trailer thing here that is being circled. I assume that's maybe where the shovel's at. This this area is so big that, oh yeah, I haven't seen these. Must be, let's see. Right after that first field, it looks like there's a trailer of some sort down here. Or maybe this is the tool shed or something. Or maybe it's a submarine. Pare. Does that mean stop? Uh, shovel! What are those little guys? They kind of spook me, but they're kind of also cute. I don't know. Alright. Now, where's the tool? Oh, it must be that thing right up there. Which is just here, I guess. What's this? Anybody want to go swimming? Tool shed. Is this the tool shed? Can I ask who designed this farm? It's dog shit. Why would you put your tool shed way- Tool shed. Way out there. I don't know. Okay, we got the shovel. Now we need to grab five sticks from the trees and take them to the campfire. Okay. Like I said, I, I didn't see a single stick on the trees. Did you guys hear that? Hmm. It's really dark outside, man. I got that brightness cranked too. What was that? Am I seeing shit, man? Can I just, like, whack these trees and hope... Oh, is that a stick? Oh, I see. Tengo las manos ocupadas. I'm going to be speaking Spanish pretty soon, by the way. There's one. And here is two. And here is probably number three. All right. Luckily, knock on wood, nothing has tried to fuck with me here. So, I mean, that's good. Otherwise, this would be really a hard task to complete here. There's number four. And then we just need one more after that, but it is getting, it is turning into quite the walk to get some of these sticks. This is the point where I would say four is probably plenty. 
but uh, I'll do as I'm told. Maybe I don't. I don't really know a whole lot about a whole lot, especially <laughs> wood. There we go. Five, the perfect number. Perfect number of sticks. Good thing. Um, good thing we only needed five because there only is five. All right. Um, how are we gonna light this? Do we have a lighting method to do that? Uh, maybe. That's so nice. That is so much better. All right, fire complete. And now I need to shut off the water supply from the windmill, which is located all the way up here. We've actually been there. I think that was where I invited you guys to a pool party, which I guess is not a pool. It's a, it's a water supply, probably for the animals and shit. But uh, what's more important than that is playing in the pool. Where is uh, Where is it? I think we passed it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this little blue wheel. And I think that should be it for night one. Right? Check, 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 check. Okay. Um. Can we sleep now? We survived night one. I guess this is, a uh, like, like, usually in the FNAF game. Not that this is FNAF at all. Minus the night system. But I, I guess usually in the FNAF world, the first night's pretty easy. I don't want to listen to that shit. Can I go to bed? Yes. Night one. There we go. Let's see what Tuesday holds. Tuesday. Last night, some strange things happened. The radio is acting up. It turned on by itself. Today, the fence appeared broken and someone has been killing the queezies. I passed by the town and spoke with the neighbors. They told me that the Pombero is around. And when he is, these things happen. I thought the Pombero was out to take care of the animals, not kill them. Whatever. I don't care. However... I must keep in mind that if I hear the Pombero's whistle near me, he's probably far away. But if I hear the whistle in the distance, he's already right behind me. For tonight, fix the vents, cut off the water windmill, pick up the dead queasies by the windmill, start. Are those those little squirrel things that have been running out in front? I don't want those things to die, man. Take these tools, eh? I need to take the wire roll first. Wire roll. Where's the wire roll? I don't see the wire roll, brother. Hmm. All right. Let's head to our map here. Uh, we need take the wire roll to the broken fence, then fix it with the pliers. Grab a bag and pick up the four dead queasies. Shut off the water supply. Okay. This is a pretty easy night, relatively speaking. Um, maybe the wire roll is over here. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to take it to the... To where? Where on the fence is broken? The broken fence... Do we know where that is? Uh-oh. Y'all hear that? I think that's the Palm Barrow. I cannot find the broken fence, motherfucker. I, there is so much fence out here. I'm just meant to run alongside. Why didn't somebody tell me where the broken fence was at? Why didn't somebody... Oh, is this it? This is it. Beautiful. Okay, now I need pliers. Okay, let's, let's remember where the... Where this is it's some fucking where over there um what am i meant to do if the palm barrow is right behind me what's that what's that about what am i supposed to do about that i have some wire cutters to defend myself with oh look at that he made a little stew for me where did he put the wire cutters at you son of a bitch oh look they're there in the potatoes what a silly place to put some wire cutters. They didn't tell me that the Palm Barrow was a fucking eight-year-old. Jeez, bro. All right. So this broke. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Okay. What did it? Did it tell me how to fend that guy off? And I just didn't read. Sometimes things slip my mind. Sometimes they just don't tell you. What is going on here? Which one of the two is happening? Wait. Here we go. Stitch the shit up. Hurry, man. Look at the little titty forming on the center of the screen. Big! Step one done! Oh, my God. Okay, I need to find a bag and put the queasies in the bag. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where a bag is. I don't know where they're at. Actually, it might tell me where they're at. What? Ah. 
Jeez, man. Is the bag? Yes. Okay. Now, the queezies are near the windmill. Okay. That's great, because I, I have to, uh, I have to go there anyways. At some point. Um. I don't know, man. I'm just feeling a little uneasy here. Oh man. It is these little guys. That makes me so sad. Look at they're so cute. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. Four of them. There's apparently another dead one somewhere. Oh my god, it's in the water supply. Jeez. Take the bag back to the table. Okay. Ah. My goodness, God. What are we gonna- we're just gonna let these guys chill on the table? What if the Pombero comes and eats them? I guess that's fine. Turn off the water supply, then we can go to bed. Surviving night two. No Pombero fuckery has gone on tonight. Thank God. Just a couple whistles. Here we go. Alright. Guess that's it for me. See y'all in the morning. For Wednesday. Hopefully we can, uh... I'm hearing footsteps. It's, it's... It's far away. 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 Go to bed. Wednesday! They were right. The Pombero's out there roaming around, and now I know it wants me dead. And I didn't believe him yesterday. Who taught me to be so foolish? Today, I'll grab the shotgun. See what I can craft to be able to see in the night hands-free. And I'll go out and look for the Pombero. Tonight I have to fix the electricity outage, attach the little flashlight to the shotgun, go to the cornfield, look for the palm barrel. Hmm. We feel a little ballsy today, eh? What's this? All right. So I have to fix, find the screwdriver and fix the power line. Okay. The screwdriver, that's probably located. Oh, there's the shotgun. Uh, I would have guessed the screwdriver would have been on this table, too. Usually, it is. Um, seems as though you have to do these tasks in order. Oh, also, the power's out, so it's mega dark. All right. Uh, where exactly is the screwdriver? Let me have a sip of my... What is that shit? Matcha? Well, here's some pliers. Wait. I'll use this later. Now I should restore the electricity. Okay. Is the screwdriver in here? I'll use this later. Oh, all tons of shit. This is basically everything I need is in here. I'm I'm in this in this farm here. This thing. Uh where though? Oh, right there. Bingo. Okay. And the electricity must be Oh, I don't know. Where is the electricity at? Maybe back at this place? I don't really know where the electricity runs. Could it be No, I don't think it'd be out there. I guess it could be. I, it's got to be over here somewhere by this thing. I would, I would, oh, I wonder if it's this thing up here that's been highlighted. That's just a light bulb, bro. Is that it? Oh my God. Man. Okay. I guess that makes sense. The power lines are out here. It makes sense. Kind of. It kind of, it kind of makes sense. Sort of. Fixed, right? Fixed. All right. Now I need to find the four objects in the workshop and prepare the shotgun. And then we're gonna go kill us a palm barrow. I don't even know what a palm barrow is. Apparently, it's like some folklore shit or something. I don't really know. I, it's it's a I, I don't know, man. Argentinian folklore, I guess. Don't really know a whole lot about that personally. Uh, I think he's a cryptid. What's a cryptid? He is. The palm barrow is. Okay. There's item number one. Uh, there's item number two, but it's not letting me pick them up. Where, where am I, am I supposed to put them somewhere or something? Do I have to take them all to the shotgun? Find the four objects in the workshop and prepare the shotgun. So, so are you telling me that I'm about to, I, I'm going to have to run back and forth? I guess it's not that far, but like, I don't know. Like, why don't we bring the shotgun in there, bro? Let's see. That's exactly what I have to do. Jesus. I don't know. It seems like it would be a better option to bring the shotgun here. 
since all this shit is here. Or maybe we could pick up more than one item at a time. That would also be cool. But, I mean, you know, whatever. All right, there's number three. Uh, I actually don't know what the fourth one is. I was thinking it was that helmet originally because we wanted to put the flashlight on the helmet. But it wouldn't let me pick that up unless if I have to do it last. Which is maybe what's going on here. Because uh, otherwise there's not really much else in the this place. Um, let's see. Well, let me pick it up. Yeah, see, it won't. Okay, wouldn't have thought to look in here. That's for sure, in the hood, in the hood of the truck. There's item number four, though. All right. Guess it's time to craft a uh, shotgun. I, uh, oh, no. I'm attaching the light to the shotgun. That's what I'm doing, huh? Oh, my God. I'm so excited to hunt me a palm barrow. Jeez. Imagine the street credit you get from killing one of those things. So you find out it's just actually a guy in an outfit, and then you go to jail. Press Q while searching the cornfield to whistle and attract the pombero. Okay, uh, so why all of a sudden is this light dog shit? You put it on the flashlight or on the on the shotgun and it's terrible now? Why? Come here, buddy. Do we think it's working? I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm not liking this at all. Where did my path go? I can't see anything. I would like to stay on a path here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. He's here. Where is he? Where did he go? Why am I doing this on a Wednesday? This seems like a weekend activity. Am I drunk? This seems like maybe I slammed a couple beers and I thought it'd be fun to go out and try and kill the Palm Barrow. That's, that's what this is giving me. Is that behind? Where is he? Oh! <laughs> Did I get him? I had to have. What are you? <laughs> He's just tanking these shots, bro. I, I only have two bullets left. Better go inside and call it a night. He just won't die. Yeah, you're right. Fuck this shit. Okay. Have a good night, Mr. Pombero. You win round one. I'll see you around. Hopefully not. Jesus Christ. Two shots from a shotgun and he took them point blank? Okay, Wednesday's complete. Boy, was that a journey there. Thursday, that creature won't die. Shot it twice and it just ran off like nothing happened. I thank life that it didn't manage to hurt me. At least the shotgun scares it away. But, well, if I can't kill it, I'll catch it alive. This Friday, I'm going to set a trap. Today, I already asked my neighbor, Dardo, for the tent, which will surely come in handy. I need to figure out what bait to use. They told me it likes to smoke and drink. I just asked God to keep me alive until Friday. For today, find the things that the Bombero took, bring in the tent, cut off the water supply. Jeepers. Oh, wow, it's foggy, isn't it? All right, so we are still carrying around the shotgun with the piece of shit flashlight. Grab the bag and find the three items stolen by the Palm Barrow. Uh, how do we know he stole three items? There's my old flashlight. Wish I could have that back. All right, three items stolen by the Palm Barrow. And we have absolutely no idea where to look for them. Just kidding, we do. Thank you for the help. Whoever added that little function in, I... Could kiss you. All right, it's on this side here. One of them right next to this uh, this little trailer thing. Oh! Bro is fast. Okay. Uh, what's this? Well, I mean, they weren't really stolen. If you can take, if you can, if you get the back, right? Like, stolen means he took them. He just moved. He's just playing a friendly Easter egg hunt. Doesn't really seem like that bad of a guy. It seems like he just likes to have a good time. I don't really think that's a crime. Um, however, I don't know why he's charging at me like that. And I also don't know why he's able to take shotgun blasts. The radio. You stole my radio, you son of a bitch. I take back everything I just said about you. Quit whistling. 
We're not friends. We never will be. I don't like this little game. I have a lot of work that I have to get done in a day, and you're playing games, and I don't... We're too old for this shit. And the tea kettle... Wow! Damn! Why is he so fast? What did he do? Is he just giving me a menacing stare? Okay, we lost. All right, Mr. Pombero, we... Oh, it's the water tower. Okay. I think that thing scared me earlier, too. All right, tea kettle here. Gotta listen to him. He comes rolling in. Sounds like a piece of farm equipment. Jesus. All right, tea kettle's in this corner. Keep an ear out for the palm barrel, though. He will be pulling up soon. All right. What I tell you. God, he's just fast. I didn't pass the radio, did I? No, I didn't. All right, we gotta get back home. Stop, 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 stop. I gotta get out the corn. I gotta get out the corn. I can't see anything. We gotta get out the corn. We gotta get out the corn. Come on. You know he's coming. And boy, is he fast. All right. Out the corn. Good. See, I feel like in this, uh... In this... Open area, we have more of an advantage. Because he can't really sneak up on me. Out here. All right, what do we have left? We need to, uh... Bring the table, bring to the table the tense box left at the entrance gate. Damn, dude. I do get my steps in, in a day, that's for sure. Did I hear him? Alright. Bro has some breathing issues, that's for sure. I can't whistle back at I tried to whistle back at him, won't let me whistle back at him anymore. Alright! Alright! Let's get the tent. Hopefully, I don't have to set that bag down. I need at least one free ant. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Bag has been set down with my stolen goods. Uh, wait. Uh, I put the shotgun down? Why? Did I do that? Is he, is he gonna leave me alone? You see how fast that guy is, bro? All right, if you say so. Oh my god, I actually jumped. What was that? Okay. Uh, I said bring it to the table. This uh, this table? Okay, then what? Water, shut off the water supply. Okay, let's just do that really fast. I'm not having a good time right now, man. Water supply is... Uh, Shit, it's right. It's it's the next one. It's the next one. It's the next one. This is the third time I've been here, and I don't know where anything's at still. Goodness gracious! It's, in my defense, though, it's quite foggy today. Is it not over here? Yes. Sir. Stop whistling at me! Stop whistling at me! Don't! I'm unarmed. It's unfair. Show a little respect. <sighs> All right. Uh, home should just be right. Up here, we can go to bed. We have one more night to survive. Why can't I sleep? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Friday! Last day, Friday! They saw it in the town, too. They told me that the Pombero was standing there looking rough with a bottle in his hand. I told them that creature is bad, very bad. Yesterday, it attacked me, stole my shotgun. I saw it with my own eyes. It was terrible. Everything is etched in my memory. I will never forget it, but I won't give up. Not even when defeated. Today I set up the trap and prepared everything. Tonight, just need to decide what bait to use. Find the rope, sit back and wait for it to appear. Everyone will remember this day as the day Jose caught the pomberito. Choose two objects and place them as bait on the chair. Find the rope, get everything ready. Catch the pomberito. Do we think that's gonna happen? Uh. In the center, baits. Pick two objects, place them on the chair, find the rope. All right. The baits are in the middle of the fields, and they just thought I would find that out. This That help feature is the best thing that they could have ever added, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I need to find the path, and then as soon as I find the path, I got to go up the center of it. Okay, so it should be right here where all the paths intersect. Why do I keep thinking that's the end? 
Uh, oh, here we are. I will need this later. Is it not that? One of the baits. Hello? Somebody's scurrying around out in the cornfield. I've seen the movie. You've seen the movie. Maybe you haven't. You know the movie I'm talking about. I don't like cornfields. Alright, there's our thing again. The baits must be back by the, either by the house or at the farm. One of the two. They're not in the cornfield, though. I've, I've gone through this whole entire thing. There's no bait in here. Um, this should, if I keep going in this direction, this should take us back to the... What is that? Take us back to the, uh... Oh, they all look like that. Good God. Where, wait, where the hell am I, bro? What? I don't know. I don't know where I'm at, dude. Bingo. I, okay. If I was the Palm Burrito, personally, I'm thinking liquor. For sure. Where am I putting this shit at? Uh, liquor for sure. Place them on the chair as bait. The chair has been removed from the premises. Where is the chair at? Damn! That shit needs to stop, man. Oh my god, he's here. I got. I gotta pick it up. I can't. I can't find the, the, the stuff. The chair. Where is the chair? I do not see the chair anywhere, bro. It's gotta be somewhere out here. But they've added this fog in now. It was hard to see before, but now it's borderline impossible. It wouldn't be in, it can't be in the cornfield. I like I said I, I went through all of that. So it's got to be either out this way somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Bro, you think the pomerito's that dumb? Okay, liquor. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that is a trap, bro. <laughs> Why he could just squeeze out the thing. I, I, come on, he's he's slender. Either way, we found the trap. Um, it said he likes liquor and cigarettes, so we brought the liquor. I was gonna bring, if, again, if it was me, I would have brought these little uh, meat pie things, whatever those are. But we'll do the cigarettes, because they say he likes the cigarettes. I do not think this stupid dumbass idea is gonna work, though. I would just like to throw that out there. Not that it matters, but, uh, just don't see this shit working, bro. Well, there we go. We got the bait set. Now we need to find the rope roll up. We know where that's at right in the middle of this cornfield as soon as we find the path that cuts into the middle. Ah! From where? So we're about to learn something here. As soon as I place these cigarettes down, we're um, either going to die again or we're not. And uh, if we don't, then... Uh, uh, damn, bro. I should be part of the presidential debate <laughs> next year with my speaking skills. Um, don't really know where I was going with that one. I we, we didn't die though. But uh, <laughs> we died. Does he not like my gifts? What's the what's the problem? I thought they said that he liked liquor and ci beer and cigarettes or alcohol and cigarettes. No, I will not. I cannot go this way. We have to go away from the cornfield. I don't know where to go, but every time I walk near that cornfield, I get hit with a jump scare completely out of nowhere. No warning, nothing at all. Where's our shotgun? Why did we craft up that shotgun and now we're not... There it is. Someone's got it. Somebody has the shotgun. Okay. I uh, heard that. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. All right. Let's, um, maybe now we can make our way to the cornfield. Maybe, maybe that's my neighbors firing off shotgun blasts to scare the Pomberito away so that now I can approach the cornfield. Thoughts on that? I mean, I'd, I feel like if I was picking the wrong things, he would punish me for that later. Not right now, right? That would be my guess. We need to get this shit and we need to evacuate immediately. Immediately. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh my, I'm like, I'm like anxious. <laughs> For right full fucking reasons, bro! Okay, string acquired. We're going north this time. I don't e Fuck 
me. Oh my god. Please. Alright, I know this isn't the best route to be taking, but I don't really know what to do at this point. Okay. Also, I reread the thing. I don't... Here's the tens. I don't remember... Or what do I do with this thing? Find the rope, roll up, and finish setting up the trap. Where does the rope go? Oh, here. Hope this doesn't trap myself in. And now what do I do? After this. Okay. Rope is set up. Catch the pomberito. How? You know where this rope is? Sit in the tent. Okay. Wait for him to enter the trap. Wait. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. No, walk. Walk into the... Go get you some ciggies. Free cigarettes. Marlboro Reds, brother. Some Jack Daniels. Is he in? I can't tell. Is he in? He's gotta be in, right? Did we get him? Burrito found in rural area. The remarkable discovery was made in the countryside by a local farmer who prefers to stay anonymous. He found a specimen of peculiar proportions that perfectly matched the description of the Guarani folk creature. The farmer reported, reported that the discovery followed a series of strange events occurring on his property. Jeepers. Look at that guy. He kind of looks like a fucked up Santa Claus. Anyways. There you go. Palm Burrito, the full game. They said it couldn't be done. I don't know who they is, but somebody probably did. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. This was recommended by somebody in the Discord. So shout out to whoever that was. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Goodbye.